One of the most common questions in every embroidery forum, group, in any embroidery shop is the famous question of how much should I charge for this project? And usually this question, it comes in this type of form. You have a customer or somebody that sees something on social media, something that they like, and they take a screenshot of that and they send you the picture and the question always comes like this. How much would you charge for something like this? We've all seen that question. We've all had that experience where a question comes. Now, when you receive a question like that, sometimes it catches you off guard because you don't have enough information to answer that question. There's about 20 variables that you could probably think of that kind of play into how much to charge. And in today's video, I want to answer one of the most elusive most challenging question that is how much would you charge for this product now i've broken down this answer in three levels with level one being a quick easy way to kind of get the price to level two and level three which requires a little bit more analyzing and a little bit more thought but before i get to the three levels let me first let me first talk about the common answer that you will always hear. If you ask this question, how much should I charge for this project? There's always going to be this template answer and that is a dollar per thousand stitches. Now I've probably heard the dollar per thousand stitches, maybe going all the way back to the early 2000s. So I'm talking about 20 years ago. Okay, if it probably worked back then, if you're still using that pricing structure, it might not work anymore. Okay, there are some small, small situations where it might work. Let's say you have multiple heads and you're just cranking out work. Okay, it might work there or there are certain designs where the dollar per thousand stitches can work. Okay, but overall, especially if you have a one head, if you're doing customizing work, okay, it might not work. So for our examples, I'm just going to make up random numbers, okay? Everybody has different numbers. And the main purpose of this exercise is you have to, you have to sit down, go over and analyze your numbers, crunch your numbers, okay? Do not be scared of calculating numbers. It's a process that has to be done. And the sooner, the earlier you analyze it, the less time is spent when somebody contacts you for a price. Okay, and one last tip before we get started is a good exercise you might wanna do is put yourself in what if situations. What if somebody called you today and asked for this amount of garments? Okay, already have everything laid out because it's gonna happen. People are going to call you with whatever you're showing, whatever you're promoting. So make sure you have all these what if questions answered before you receive these questions. So I got the whiteboard, the GoPro ready to go. Let's begin with level number one in pricing your embroidery projects. Okay, so level one, I'm going to keep it very basic. This is just a quick way of pricing your garment. The main thing about level one is you want to make a profit, okay? Make a profit. Now, I know that seems pretty obvious, right? You might tell yourself, well, of course, you have to make a, a profit. That's kind of obvious. But the problem is when, the problem is when you're comparing prices with other similar shops. Okay, you might you might get tempted because there's certain there's certain there might be a certain shop that's charging dirt cheap prices. Okay, there might be charging dirt cheap prices, and you might be tempted to go down and match that price. Okay, that's kind of like fighting for the bottom. Okay, that's something you do not want to do. That's 
a easy way of not making a profit okay being tempted and going down all the way to the bottom okay because you don't know that other shops situation you don't know if they have a 12 head you don't know if they're doing this for a hobby who knows why their prices are so low you are focused on what's going on with your shop okay and if that's what you specialize then you should have no problem in your pricing structure always when you're crunching your numbers these are your numbers these are the numbers you want to you want to ride or die with these numbers and there's always times where you're going to have to tweak it but you have to know up to what level you could tweak your numbers okay so let's this first box here is your expense expenses okay expenses profit total okay this is the most basic this is kind of like just business 101 here okay expenses so that would include your your garment or also known as your blanks okay you're going to charge for your consumables that's your cutaway tear away water soluble your needles your threads your profit how much do you want to make so this is a number that you have to think about since this is level one and we're not making it too complicated you have to decide how much is that block of time that you're going to spend on this project how much that it, how much is that going to cost okay so let's say it's it's a project that's going to take a whole afternoon let's say it, it you're going to charge somebody 150 okay 150 for an afternoon of your time okay and like i said this number here is just a made up number okay we're just making this up we're going to say that this is this is a project that'll probably take you four hours maybe when you're estimating this type a level one you kind of know okay i'm gonna have to use an afternoon for this project other profit okay so this is for your time other profit that you could include in this box is markups okay so if you're buying this garment for ten dollars let's say you're 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 getting this blank for ten dollars now this number is just like i said random number okay let's say you want to mark it up 50 percent of 10 okay so you're going to mark it up five bucks other expenses here so we said your consumables your consumables and you could just to be on the safe side okay you could probably say that's five bucks per item Okay, you know you're getting a lot of your consumables covered in this five dollars garment blacks per piece. That's probably let's say four hours. Just an estimate. This is not your you kind of make this judgment call. And a lot of time when you're dealing with hours, and at this level, we're not necessarily charging by the hour. You're just estimating how much time does it is it going to take you to do this project. If we get a quick total price. All right, let's say we have 12, 12 items. Okay, so that's 12 times 10 plus five. So this blue one, all right, gives you 180. Okay, for 12 pieces, okay, gives you 180 for 12 pieces. Then your profit portion, okay, if you're charging $5 per mock-up, so that's 150 plus 12 times 5 so this is just basic algebra that we're doing okay if you're not familiar with basic algebra there's always the calculator okay calculator takes care of all this stuff this here was 60 so we get 210 for your time for your labor all right so when we add these together 210 plus 180 we're getting 390 390 and then if you divide that by 12 just to see how much per piece 3250 so this is just random numbers okay but this is how you go about calculating prices now if you have that customer that wants to challenge your pricing okay if he's saying hey that's too much i can't do that 
is there any way you can lower the price now if you want to go back to the drawing board and see if it's even possible to break bring down the price okay you obviously cannot bring this price down okay this is locked prices as soon as you start bringing this expenses down you start to lose your profit okay that's one major thing about this level one is you're doing a quick estimate but one thing that you cannot budge on is on your expenses because you're not making any money off the ex this expense is what it costs to do this project whatever you do do not do not touch this portion and discount anything on this side okay and then let me add one more thing one more thing that i'm going to add in this level one there's a lot of variables we are not including okay we are not including our cost of business okay your rent your power your internet your equipment okay so i would say this level one like i said before it's a quick way to get a price okay but it might not it might not make sense to base your whole yearly price structure with this level one okay this level one it just makes sure the only thing you're checking is i'm making a profit if you want to include the cost of business you can add it here on on your profit okay so going back to our example where the customer wants us to bring down the price and if you even want to think about it this is the only location the the profit portion is the only location okay that you can touch if you already quoted the price as low as you can okay which at this point we made it pretty easy okay we made it pretty easy this is all what we can change you can either lower your labor cost or you can lower your markup when you made this estimate you thought about it you thought about the time that you were going to put and i would say 99 percent of the time you want to stick with your plan okay and the more estimates you put out the more jobs you put out the more confident and the better understanding of your time so when you do your estimates you know at what level is your lowest this is an activity that you can play with all day you you could crunch in your own numbers you can have your own what if situation so this is level one of making a profit very basic expenses quickly list your expenses how much do you want to make figure out your price this is your price so if you see that you're getting so many orders and you can't even complete the orders on time then you might have to raise your price all right you're gonna have to raise your price in that situation this is where you start actually increasing your profit so this is a quick level one let's go ahead let's talk about level two okay so let's talk about level two in your pricing structure and that is what i call your getting paid by the hour all right so charging by the hour uh that's kind of like the a very common way right everybody's familiar with getting paid by the hour usually the faster the more experience and the higher your quality then you want to make sure you're charging more by the hour now this amount the number that you come up with charging by the hour this is this is a personal number for you this is not for anybody to know your customer doesn't know this is a baseline so when you're pricing you're using this calculation we're going to use the same numbers as before and this is just a training scenario okay we're not actually using these numbers in real life but you can play with your own numbers depending on what project you have me personally what i do i don't just stick to one level of pricing i'm, I'm always tweaking things around depending on what the project is depending how much how much information i'm receiving from the customer so let's go ahead let's start with this one charging by the hour so in this situation your labor 
it's it's calculated a little bit with more thought okay so let's say you want to get paid we still stays with the whole expense plus profit okay that that this formula never changes okay and that's for any business okay so that's just business fundamentals anytime you're in any type of business you're always going to go with this formula our expense kind of uh, we're going to keep it the same okay we're going to say the garment the blank 10 bucks we're going to say consumables five okay these are just random numbers cost of business two dollars fifty cents all right and let me just tell you how i came up with that number okay and this is just a random number if you want to calculate your cost of business you would have to calculate all your business expenses so how much does it cost to run your business this is just a quick example cost of business this is how I, I came up with this two dollars and fifty cents all right there's many ways to get this cost of business this is the easiest way for me to make it let's say random number okay let's say it costs five hundred dollars a month to operate your business usually your goal every month is to have 200 garments okay that's how many how many items you make okay so 500 uh is your cost monthly cost 200 garments all right so that means in order to cover this 500 dollars it costs two dollars fifty cents per garment to cover your 500 dollars okay that's something that you can include here under your expense so after 200 garments or whatever your goal or whatever your monthly your monthly output is okay you know once you hit that monthly output your cost of business expense has been paid for okay so that's these are costs that you don't see but they exist so let's go with that now let's talk about our hourly profit so let's say you charge fifty dollars per hour okay random number fifty dollars per hour if you are more experienced if you can do work faster of course this fifty dollars an hour is going to go way higher okay this is just kind of safe number here and same thing if you're just learning in starting the business okay you might want to decrease this while you learn but at least you know you're making something okay you all, you don't want to be at zero per hour always want to be at something all right so the way you would calculate something per hour okay we're going to use basic math or basic fractions okay in this situation we have 12 items 12 items so the one thing you have to know is in one hour in one hour how many items can you complete okay how many items can you complete in one hour this is the big question okay this is your make or break question here how many items can you make for this project in one hour that's going to dictate your price all right and then you charge your fifty dollars per hour so let's say in this example you can complete four items in one hour now when you're when you're calculating this you want to include everything that deals with this project hooping little small stuff you don't think about okay you don't just want to you don't just want to calculate the time under the needle you want to calculate every every detail and with the experience you will see how long something takes okay for the first time if you're just starting this type of pricing structure then the first couple times might be practice runs you might not get it right but with time you start tweaking things and you start figuring out unseen expenses or you start seeing things that take extra time in different scenarios okay but in this example we're going to say we complete in one hour we do four items okay so for all my math people 
you know that fractions, okay, you could cross these out, hour, hour, items, items, and you're left with this dollar, okay? So when we calculate it, 12 divided by 4, okay, that's 3 times 50, 150. All right, so in this situation, you're going to charge $150 for $50 an hour. So this number, very similar to what we had before. Okay, if you're in a situation where you have to lower your price, maybe the customer is challenging your price and you want to maybe lower it, see if, if there's any room to lower it, or maybe you're so busy that you have to raise your price or you feel that your expertise levels is at a certain level and you want to raise it, okay? Once again, this cost, this area does not get touched with. You do not want to touch this area here. This is the only area you could play with. Okay, one thing we didn't add, we didn't add the markup for the blank, so you could always do that. You definitely can't touch this, right? Because that's how many items you're making. This is how long does it take for you to complete a project. You don't want to start tweaking this number. So the only number you can tweak is your hourly profit. Once you start bringing down this number, it's hard, it's hard to bring it back up. Okay, stick to your guns. When you are giving a price, especially when you've thought about it, when you've kind of went to a drawing board and you thought about it, you do not want to start sacrificing this profit, okay? Maybe if you didn't think about it, then you might be able to lower it. But if you went this far and you thought about it and you kind of made a game plan, then you can, you can rest assured that you are giving a good solid price. All right, so this is level two, charging by the hour, a very structured format in charging, okay? Your most common, your most uh, one of the most structuredized level of setting up your pricing. Okay, let's go with level three. And this here, this to me is the ultimate goal for every shop. So this method is seen greatly, greatly in the graphic design area and in the art world. This level three is for those who are an expert in a specific industry with a specific garment, or if there's something that people come to you because you are the go-to person for this type of project, then this level three is perfect, perfect, perfect for you, okay? And I'm going to call this charging for your expertise. There are people out there, okay? There are people out there that do not care what the prices as long as they get what they are looking for and in order to be on that level you have to have to know the ins and outs of whatever they're looking for okay for example just random example is people that do letterman jackets okay to do letterman jackets not anyone could just tackle that project there's a lot of variables that go into letterman jackets. There's details, specific stitches that need to happen. There's specific rules and locations of areas of where to stitch on. There's certain do's and don'ts with letterman jackets. So I, I put the letterman jacket as an example of charging for your expertise. At that level, you're not just making up random numbers. You are not necessarily paying by the hour you have a set price and a lot of that price has to do with demand okay usually when you are a go-to person you have a line of people seeking for the product you are selling okay so this here is kind of i would say is the ultimate goal of your shop i always preach in finding your niche find something that you're good in find a community that fits you that you know the language, that you know the rules, and you know the culture. If you find, if you're in that type of area, then you can fall into this level three easily. We still have our expense plus profit price. 
Okay, so using our same examples, okay, our, our, our expenses are still, okay, you still have blanks. Now the profit area, that all depends on your demand. How many people are looking for what you are selling? At that point, you have a set price and that price is above, okay? When you're at this level, you have your regulars, you have your bottom, this is prices, okay? Well, people charge your regulars. And you are here at a premium. You are charging premium, and that's because of your expertise, your speed, and providing what that customer is looking for. If you can deliver, if you can deliver what nobody can deliver with speed, time, quality, then you are in this level three. And when you're at this level three, your prices are firm. You are not fighting for a $5 discount. Okay. You are, you are not, you kind of, you are not in that area of, oh, I can, let me see what I can do. Let me see what I can do to lower this price. Okay. So you're charging premium. So let's say our previous charge was 150 at this level, you would be at 250. Okay, 250 bucks. All right, and a lot of times at this level, this is a popular price structure for the arts world. For example, the graphic designers. It's because sometimes when you're an expert in a, in a specific area, then it takes you a shorter time to complete projects. So at that level, it doesn't make sense to, to charge by the hour because you're actually doing it faster. So that's why it doesn't make sense to charge by the hour once you hit expert level. Okay. And expert level, you don't have, don't think that it takes 20 years to become an expert. All you have to do is find a targeted, okay. A targeted area that you're going to work on every single day and you're going to work on that specific target and master that target and you will get to this level there you go this is just kind of playing with numbers okay this is nothing set in stone here in our shop i would say we kind of work with the three levels okay i'm not gonna say we are solid in this level or we're solid in the, in, in, in here we are in a situation where we kind of take a little bit from each level. And of course, this here being the, the ultimate level you want to get to. Once you, once you are on this level, there's less time going back and forth with your customer. Okay, your customers know, hey, this is what this specialist charges. This is, it's either yes or a no. Of course, everything is negotiable and negotiating is always part of the game. But for the most part, your prices are your prices and, and you're providing the best of the best in whatever industry that is. This is a very productive activity you can do on your own also, okay? Make sure you're playing with numbers and make sure you're always setting up those what if situations because believe it or not, you will receive all types of what if situations with your shop, okay? so. Once again, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.